Welcome to our Easter adventure. Yes, we are having more Easter themed fun. We hope you will enjoy tagging along for the ride. We think you are in for a real treat because we are delightful. Yes, welcome. I am Lenny and this wild woman is my best friend Pearl. I'm totally wild. You got that right. I definitely can be a pawful, and I most definitely help keep our human mama young. You do. And you also sometimes drive me bonkers like you're doing now because you often feel the need to bother me when I am trying to eat. I try really hard not to let it bother me though. And Mama always feels the need to remind me of all the times I used to do the same to my old bestie. I miss her and if I could tell her one thing now, I'd tell her how sorry I am for all those times I bothered her, because until I was on the other side of the coin, so to speak, I never realized how annoying I was being. It just goes to show how what goes around comes around. Mama says though that she's surprised I don't do more sticking up for myself, because I'd never let Pearl or anyone get away with such stuff before, but I guess, I'm only trying to focus on the fun stuff, so I do my best not to dwell on the negatives. Besides, I'm a guinea pig and I understand that guinea pigs will be guinea pigs. So anyway, we're having some more Easter fun today, and we are most definitely having a guinea tea good time. Yes indeed. We're enjoying every second. Playtime is the best. We love hanging out and having fun, especially whenever food is involved. We ran out of pea flakes though, which is a travesty. Don't you think? Pearl is right. Running out of pea flakes has been devastating. Help a guinea girl out and leave us a comment to tell mama how dare she let us run out of pea flakes. She's usually very good about making sure we don't run out of our essentials like ever, but she totally flaked on our pea flakes. Yes, someone needs to help us convince mama she either needs to put a rush order in for our pea flakes or she needs to literally drive to every store until she finds some herself. Pearl is right. Mama should at least put a rush order in. She finally got our chewy order done, but guess what? She forgot to add our pea flakes. Forgot? Like how in the world do you forget? How can you forget the most important item on the list? I don't understand how she could have forgotten. Can you believe she forgot? I certainly don't get how she forgot. Well, I suppose I can let Mama off the hook this time because at least she's given us more oats lately, and I know Mama has been having much human balonies to deal with lately. And even though she has made tons, like tons of progress with her unfortunate human troubles, I know she still has much more to handle. Some people might be betting on Mama to lose, and even though I can't explain the human balonies, I can tell you that Mama is not one to bet against especially when it concerns any of her furry or non-furry babies, because she will always come out on top for her babies. Yeah, you are right, Lenny. Mama always finds a way to win in any situation. She must have that hamster power we always hear about. Mama says the key to success in any situation is positivity. So, if you stay optimistic and do your best to shield yourself from negative energies, you'll have greater success. I believe Mama is right with that too. Pearl, I'm sure you'll agree too. Because we've seen Mama taking care of our sick friends before and, of course, everyone unfortunately eventually will leave this physical world we live in. But we've witnessed the power of positive energy healing our friends enough to give them a much longer lifespan than anticipated. Oh yes, I have witnessed that magic with several of our hammy friends in the short time I've been here. 
I'm really glad Mama always tries to stay positive about everything because we wouldn't want to see her get sad or worse. Depressed. Personally, I believe we help her tremendously with that. After all, we are like the cutest guinea pigs ever, and I like to think nobody could be sad or angry while in the presence of or watching guinea pigs. So does anyone else ever feel a sense of peace when you're with your furry friends or watching animals on TV or something? I like to believe everyone who spends time with or watching animals would feel a great relief of anxiety or other negative feelings, and that they would feel much joy. Of course, we sadly know that some people are not so nice to animals, and that is just a shame for many reasons. Well, we don't need to think about the haters, because we got everything we need here, and we sure have a lot of love here. I to hate thinking about how poorly some animals are treated, such as how bunnies are often used as props or given to children as gifts for Easter. But then they're not given proper care because the people who got them had no clue what they were signing up for and they just thought they would make for cute Easter figures. Yes, Pearl, that stuff really grinds my gears too. If we could somehow make such sadness go away forever, we surely would. I wish wishing for good things to happen would be enough. I think we should try to do something special for all animals everywhere. But what do you think about maybe starting a fundraiser for our local shelter? Lenny, that's a fabulous idea. We could collect donations for the shelter and give them everything we collect. Mama donates what we can afford when we can. But I know it's been a while, so this could be a way to still be able to help even when we can't always afford to give. We should totally start this. Indeed we should. What does everyone else think? Do you like our ideas for trying to raise money for our local shelter? Would you help us when we get this plan in motion? If you were to collect money for helping animals, is there a specific organization you would want to give money to? If so, which organization would it be and why would you select that organization? I wonder if there is a bunny rescue near us because of Easter. I think we should honor the Easter Bunny and try to help bunnies. I think it is extremely difficult to choose an organization to help because really we'd want to help them all, especially because all of them could always use the help and they all certainly deserve all the help they can get. If only our magic wand would be able to take care of such desires. Oh no, I just realized that there's two local organizations we'd have to select from to help, and unless we'd be able to raise enough to have enough to split between them, I don't know how we'd be able to pick. Our local shelter has helped us in various ways. They've helped many of our family members with their illnesses. They've helped us with medication needs for almost all of our hamsters and rats. We've gotten great deals on items they were selling. They helped when Mama had to surrender a homeless kitty that wandered into her work before, and much more. Then there's our local emergency hospital. Luckily we haven't had to take many of our family members there, but Mama's bestest friend in the entire world, our kitty friend, had to go there almost three years ago now, and they literally saved his little kitty life when he had to have emergency surgery for a very rare cat illness he developed. It was more expensive than Mama's cars, but obviously worth every penny. So we would love to be able to give them a donation to because they do such great work. Although, we're not sure what they accept, but if we could do anything for them we would love to. We've been very fortunate piggies because we, thank the guinea gods, have not had to experience such terrible circumstances. But we know many animals suffer because their medical needs are too expensive. So we would love to be able to help those who need it. So, the more I think about it, the more I really want to help. Me to Pearl. I realize we don't have a large following on social media, 
but maybe we can get more people to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages so that maybe we could start raising some money for animals in need. I like this plan. And to think, we got this idea basically from the Easter Bunny because we were thinking about how poorly some bunnies are treated during Easter. Yeah, the Easter Bunny must have planted this idea for us. Now that's certainly one of the greatest Easter gifts one could ever receive. Well, I'm not sure how we started thinking about and talking about all this, but I think we have a nice idea and should put this plan in motion as soon as possible, though. I suppose we'll need to give Mama some time to prepare a donation page and posts or something. Yeah, Pearl. But hopefully Mama can start helping us right away with this plan. If you think our Mama should make our plan a top priority, please leave us a comment to tell her you support our plan. And, just to be clear, when I say you support our plan, it doesn't have to mean that you would make a donation unless you wanted to mean that. Even if you can't make a donation for any cause, you can always show your support in other ways, such as through prayers, kind supportive messages, likes, views, or helping to spread the word about the cause. Totally. Sometimes just helping spread the word is even more helpful. I think this should be our summer plan. We could make special posts all summer long just to try and help raise money for our local shelter and donate every penny we collect. This will make our summer extra special too because we will not only have tons of fun, but we'll be working hard too. I'm on board Pearl. Maybe our ratty friend Mr. Honeybun and our hammy friends will want to help as well. I'm sure Mr. Honeybun and our hammy friends will want to help as well. They care deeply about said causes, as does Mama. So once we give everyone a job to do, I think we can all get to work and then we can all come together to make this happen. I love being a helpful guinea piggy. I wish we could afford to house like a trillion guinea pigs, hamsters, rats, cats, dogs, etc. Because I think the ultimate goal would be to be able to care for more little ones within our own family. But since that's not really doable, or at least not right now, we can at least do something to help those who find themselves in this shelter needing help. Well, on another note, this hay is yum, 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 yummy. Oat hay is the best. Love it. Too bad we ran out of pea flakes, though. Maybe we will be able to get some more soon. At least we still have our Oxbow cookies every night though. Before Mama goes to bed every night she always gives us an Oxbow cookie, which we always look forward to. Yum yum yummy. Oh yeah, this oat hay is delicious. It's extra tasty for some reason. I'm looking forward to going back to our houses so I can eat my nightly oxbow cookie even though I don't like parting ways for the night. But hey, everyone needs time to themselves. We very much enjoy chewing up our paper towels roll. It's so much fun. Yummy, these oats sprinkled around from our Easter eggs are just so delicious. I love oats. I love oat hay. I just love all things oats.
Yum, 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 yummy. So good. We love playing with our Easter eggs and will probably be playing with them all month. How about you? Do you enjoy playing with Easter eggs? Do you play with them long after Easter Sunday? Leave us a comment and share your fun with us. We'd love to hear. Right now our favorite toy is legit this paper towel tube. Mama says she might have to throw it away soon, but we're not worried because we'll get a new one. We'll probably be playing with our Easter basket for a while too. Although Mama says she wants to pack it up, but she knows we're having a lot of fun with it, so we know she'll let us keep it out for a while. It's just a matter of making sure it doesn't get dirty, because we have to keep it clean, or we won't be able to store it and would need a new one for next year. We actually might just get a new one for next year anyway, so maybe we can make this one last until summer begins. It's just a lot of fun, like a lot a lot of fun, to knock over our Easter basket and jump in and out of it. I certainly have a lot of fun with it. This paper towel tube is my favorite thing right now though. Yummy! We try to take turns with everything. Of course, sometimes it doesn't work out so well, but today we're doing pretty good. Anyway, we're really glad you've joined us today. Please enjoy these faster clips of us because we're too adorable so don't miss out. Thank you again for joining us today, and please be sure to stop by again next week. We apologize for our delayed posts lately, and we'll just say if we don't post by 9 in the morning we should have our adventures posted by noon.
Thank you again for joining us. We wish you a guinea teat possum week. Thank you for joining Lenny and Pearl. We hope you enjoyed this adventure. Please be sure to give Lenny and Pearl a like, share, comment, and subscribe. We look forward to delighting you some more next week.